Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Classroom. This video covers adding materials to the classwork page in Google Classroom. Many times you'll have resources that you want your students to access over and over again throughout the school year. Now you wouldn't want to put these in the stream since that is in chronological order and the resources would get pushed down to the bottom of the page over time. Instead, you can add these resources as materials to the classwork page. When you go to the classwork page, you'll see there's a create button in the top left hand corner. If we give that a click, there's lots of things we can add to the classwork page, including assignments and quizzes and questions, and those will be covered in other videos. For this video, we're going to look at adding what's called materials. This could include things such as maybe a class syllabus, expectations, a grading guide, a rubric, uh, commonly accessed websites, and so forth. For our first example, let's add a class syllabus. We'll click on the material button. Put in our title. We could add a description if we want, but for this example, I'll skip over that. And then below there, we'll click the Add button. Just like when you post to the stream, you can add from your Google Drive, a link, an uploaded file, or a YouTube video. We'll go to our Google Drive and grab the class syllabus. Now you can add more than one thing to each of these entries, but for this example, we'll just do the class syllabus. To keep the classwork page organized, though, we do want to choose a topic to put this under. The classwork page is different from the stream in that the contents are organized within topics rather than chronologically. At the moment, I don't have a topic, so I'll go ahead and create one. I'll just call this class materials. And that's it. We can post this as normal by clicking on the post button in the top right hand corner, or we can use the drop down arrow to choose a time to post it later. For this example, I'll go ahead and post it right now. So now on the classwork page, we have a class materials section that includes a class syllabus. Let's add one more example. How about a collection of useful math websites? We'll go ahead and click the create button again and create another set of materials. For the title, we'll call it math websites. And again, we could add a description if we wanted. We'll go to the add button, but this time we're going to add a link. We'll click Add Link to add that. And as we said before, you can add more than one. We'll add a few extras. Again, we'll put these in a topic. We'll go ahead and stay with class materials, although you could create as many topics as you need to keep things organized as your resources grow. And again, we'll post that. We now have math websites and our class syllabus under class materials. You'll notice that the resources are put in order with the most recent first. If you don't want them in that particular order, you can simply click, hold down, and drag and drop these to rearrange their order as needed. So let's see what this looks like from the student's view. When the student goes to the classwork tab, they'll now see some class materials, including the class syllabus, which they can click on to open, or the math websites, which they can click on any of those to open as well. Again, adding materials to your classwork page is a great way to provide students with ongoing access to resources that they may need over and over again throughout the school year. So those are the basics for adding materials to the classwork page in Google Classroom. Check out the other videos in the series for more training on how to use Google Classroom. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash classroom videos.